So we will now proceed in solving different combined stresses problems and here are the formulas we will going to use. So first, we are given a cantilever beam and we need to find the stress at A and the stress at B. So the length of the beam is 2 meters and the dimensions of the cross-sectional area is 70 millimeter by 60 millimeter. And we also have an applied force 35 degrees along the central axis. First thing that we will going to do is we need to draw two cantilever beams showing the horizontal and the vertical components of the applied force. So on the left side, we have 20 cosine 35 degrees. And on the right side, we have 20 sine 35 degrees. Okay, so the beam with the horizontal component represents the actual stress while the other one represents the bending stress. The formula in getting the actual stress is force over the cross-sectional area while for the bending stress we have the moment multiplied by C over I where I is the moment of inertia of the cross-section of the beam. The C represents the distance between the neutral axis and the outermost part of the beam. So here we have 70 millimeter. So the C in this problem is 35 millimeter. Solving for the actual stress, we have 20 kilonewton cosine 35 degrees all over 60 times 70 which is the area of the cross section solving through calculator we get 3.9 Megapascal. So since A and B experience compressive stress, we will make the answer negative because compressive stress is negative while tensile stress is positive. Now, we will draw the two compressive stress at A and B. Solving for the bending stress, we have the maximum moment which is 20,000 sine 35 degrees multiplied by the length of the beam in millimeters which is 2,000 times the C which is 35 millimeters all over the moment of inertia wherein B is equal to 60 multiplied by height 70 cubed all over 12 so solving using the calculator we get 468.23 megapascal So this bending stress can either be positive or negative. Okay, so now we will draw the stresses at the two points. So as we can observe, at point A, it experiences a tensile stress, while on the point B, it experiences compressive stress due to the vertical components of the force. So now, we will proceed in solving the stress at A and B since we already gather all the information that we need. So for the stress at A, we have the negative 390 megapascal 
plus the tensile stress positive 468.23 megapascal. Using the calculator, we get 464.33 megapascal. This is now the stress at point A. So since it is positive, we know that this is a tensile stress. So solving for the stress at B, we have negative 390 megapascal. So since it is compressive, so we will use negative 468.23 megapascal. So using the calculator again, just need to change the sign. We get negative 472.13 megapascal. So this represents the stress at B. So since it is negative, we can say that this a compressive stress so as a recap for our answer it is clear that at a it experiences 464.33 megapascal tensile stress while on b it experiences 472.13 megapascal compressive stress so that's all thank you guys for listening